colder weather moves in, business is heating up even more for chimney sweep companies. Our Alexis Wainwright has been following one crew around today, and she joins us now live with what happened. Alexis. Well, Donna and Kevin, it's been busy for a lot of businesses. One that we followed in particular says it's been busy since August, but today in particular, the phones have really been ringing off the hook. And tonight, the owner tells me that the cold weather has a lot of people motivated to call them. Now, we followed the crews with the A1 Chimney Pro base in Mayflower. Today alone, they had four different crews booked for the entire day. We had a chance to follow along with them and see them do a safety inspection. The owner, Calvin Rawls, recommends everyone doing an annual inspection and says it's required by law. Now, one of the houses we went to in the neighborhood we're in right now, the homeowner says he hasn't used his chimney since 2014 when he first moved here. But now that it's getting cold, our Kansans are getting prepared. And tonight, Rawls says that simple step of getting an inspection helps prevent fires. Take a listen. We're, we're in the fire prevention business, so... Um, you know, there's thousands of fires that happen every year that are 110% preventable. And so, uh, you know, um, we, we try to do our part. We take it very seriously. Um, we follow the, the published guidelines that are required by us to do our inspections, our safety inspections. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the very best that we can do. Now, some other tips for everyone moving forward when using your chimney. Pay attention to the fire. Be mindful of the ashes that you move and put them into a paper bag or something else. That can actually cause a fire, so they're recommending for people to use a metal bucket instead and also heat up the chimney prior to lighting the fire to prevent smoke from coming inside your house. A lot of tips, but again, people reminding everyone to be safe when it comes to using your chimneys. Reporting live tonight in Sherwood, Alexis Wainwright, Fox 16 News.